Netting and cash pooling are two systems that can be used by companies that consist of various legal entities. Um, in the end, the main goal of these systems would be to reduce costs. Netting could result in reduced transaction costs, while cash pooling focuses more on the cash position of the entities. First, let's have a look at netting. We have an American multinational, so the headquarters are in the United States of America, but that group also has a subsidiary in Belgium, Australia and Vietnam. Let's say that these are the transactions of January. So what would need to happen? The headquarters would need to pay 110 million to the subsidiary in Belgium, 80 million to the subsidiary in Australia and 120 million to the subsidiary in Vietnam. But also, the headquarters should receive 50 million from the subsidiary in Vietnam, 200 million from the subsidiary in Australia and 90 million from the subsidiary in Belgium. But then again, when we look at the Australian subsidiary, they should receive 80 million from the Belgian subsidiary, 70 million from the Vietnamese subsidiary, and 80 million from the headquarters. But also, they have to pay 200 million to the headquarters and 40 million to the Vietnamese subsidiary. Well, as you can see, this would result in many transactions, and all these transactions have transaction costs. And as they are all located in different parts of the world, there would also be exchange rate costs and so on. So what will we do in the netting system? Well, first we will look for every entity if they are a net receiver or a net payer. So, for example, the headquarters, they would receive 90 from Belgium, 200 from Australia and 50 from Vietnam, but also they would have to pay 120 to Vietnam, 80 to Australia and 110 to Belgium. So in the end, they would receive $30 million. We do the same for the Vietnamese subsidiary, they would receive 70 million in total. The Australian subsidiary would have to pay 10 million in total and the Belgian subsidiary in, in January, they would have to pay 90 million. So netting makes sure that the number of transactions is significantly reduced. A first netting system would be rather simple. The Belgian subsidiary pays the 90 million dollar to the USA headquarters. The Australian subsidiary does the same. They pay 10 million to the headquarters and then the headquarters pay 70 million dollar to the Vietnamese subsidiary. So instead of 10 transactions, we only have three transactions. This would be a very simple netting system, but we often see in reality that these groups would work with a netting center and the netting center would take care of all these intra-group transactions. So in that case, the Belgium subsidiary pays 90 million to the netting center. The Australian subsidiary pays 10 million to the netting center and then the netting center will pay 30 million to the headquarters and 70 million to the Vietnamese subsidiary. While the netting system focuses on well, the minimization of transaction costs, cash pooling will focus more on the cash position of companies and more specifically on the cost of overdrafts. We have here, for example, a European group 
headquarters are in Belgium and then there are subsidiaries in France, Finland and Spain. Um, I did not choose all European entities here by accident because cash pooling will be especially interesting uh, for companies in which the transaction costs are already limited. So all these countries here use the euro so there are already no exchange rate uh, fees and losses uh, but also all these countries are part of the single European payment area so again the transaction costs would be very limited for these entities so the headquarters for example have a net cash of 480,000 euro the French subsidiary has a 220,000 euro overdraft the Finnish subsidiary has a net cash of 180,000 euro and the Spanish subsidiary has a overdraft of 680,000 euro well let's say that the proceeds of a positive cash of real cash is 0% uh, which makes sense these days of course uh, and the cost of an overdraft is 8%. So the cost for the French, French subsidiary would be 17,600 euro. And the cost for the Spanish subsidiary would be 54,400 euro. What will happen in cash pooling? Well, all these entities will centralize their account in some sort of HQ finance, a cash pooling entity. And so when you add up all the different accounts, you have an overdraft of only 240,000 euro. And then if you apply the 8% cost, you get a cost of 19,200, which is obviously lower than when you add up the costs of the Spanish and the French subsidiary. So by pooling all the cash of the group, the company can reduce the cost of overdrafts.